Okay, this how-to video is going to tell you how to create bends inside uh, the Cadence PCB tools. So the bends that can be used for kind of flexi rigids. So I've got a design here with some flexies on it. I want to put some bend lines across these kind of corners um, to make me to, to fold the, the flexi over and create a bend to have the connector facing the correct way. Um, in this example, um, the, the, the board uses different cross sections. So if we go to setup and cross sections, cross section editor, you can see effectively I've got a primary stack up, I've got a flexi, a flexi stiffener, an LCD stiffener. And these areas are applied um, with the zone. So if you look at the visibility pane, we'll just turn everything off and look at the zone outline. Let's just turn the connections off as well. You can see I've got the different sections of the board and this is how effectively the, the board will bend. And we can then, let's just go back to the last view. We can then bend, add some bends and bend these in and then show them realistically in the 3D view. So I'm just going to add a couple of bends to this flexi here. We'll leave the others for now. So the way we would do this is use the setup command. So setup, bend, and then create. So I get an option to obviously specify a name, start and end points um, for these. And then there's different parameters, whether you want the bend to be top or bottom orientated, put an linear rate of the radius, the angle, the order, and then you can get it to create via keepouts and package keepouts automatically. So we're going to create bend one first. Um, so what we'll do here is I'm just literally just going to use um, a, a hop. So let's zoom in here. We'll do a right mouse button, snap pick to arc circle center, because I want to bend across this arc location here. And then the second location, I'm just going to kind of pick a point. Um, let's go roughly about there. That's fine. I mean, you can be more specific if you want to. Um, and then, so there's my, my start and end locations. I want this to be a bottom based bend. I want it to be an inner radius of about six millimeters. Uh, and then we'll do an angle of 180. And it'll be order zero. I'm going to create a via keep out and a package keep out of zero size. So that's the same size as the bend. And then we'll click on create. And effectively, my bend gets created. If I add the oversize in here, let's just do a, a five, for example. And that's when we're now on the generate. So we'll have to do an update if we need to make a change to that. So let's go and make a, the, the second bend. So let's do a, a right mouse button, snap pick to, let's do it in the right place actually, oops. So right mouse button, snap pick to arc circle center. And I'll pick a location for my second point of the, uh, the bend. So that's bend two. This one's going to be um, going from the top. The radius is going to be down to five. Uh, the angle is still 180. I'll do the via and the package keep out and we'll, uh, Create this at five, so you'll see a slightly oversize. So that generates effectively bend two, and you can see obviously the oversize of the the via keep out showing it here. So now we're happy with the bends, we can actually edit these. So let's go to setup and bend and edit. So I get to choose which bend I want to edit. So I can choose uh, bend one, and it would then zoom to bend one. And we'll do bend two. So let's make a change to bend two, and we'll just remove this via oversize to zero, and hit apply. And that would then update the bend location. So I have my two bends defined. So the important thing now is defining the anchor point. So when we get to the 3D view, we can obviously bend these flexes away. We want to kind of which part is going to stay, remain flat, remain rigid. And we can do that from the setup menu, anchor 3D view, and then we'll just effectively left click uh, in the zone area where we want to anchor. So obviously I'm, I've left clicked in the main part of the PCB there for that, for the, or the primary part of the PCB, which is my six layer board. We'll then launch the 3D viewer. Let's just click okay and wait for the viewer to launch. So there's my 3D view that I can obviously pan around and zoom. You can obviously see the difference between my, my rigid and my flexi. So there's a the flexi part. So what I want to do is I want to bend these and show the, the bend location. So um, in any in the just blank space in the canvas, I can just do a right click bend. And if I look at my options pane, I get the option to kind of bend them one by one at a certain percentage, or I can do all of them in one go. So let's effectively if we'll bend that the first one, and you can see that bend comes in, we'll bend the second one, and then that flips the part round. So from a bend point of view, that's located my bend. You can see it's put the bend in the right location and orientation. It's specified my angle correctly. So I've actually got the right radius going round. And it's a good representation of, of what I, my, phys, my physical PCB and my physical design will look like. 
obviously when you're using bends you can use things like the clash detect so the clash detect will update and it will obviously clash or, or detect for components um, so if you bend components on top of other components you'll actually see if you get a clash that way so it's worthwhile looking at that from uh, from a design point of view as well